Just doing an Alberta check stop here, checking for impaired drivers. You anything to drink tonight? In the law enforcement world and its efforts to defeat impaired driving, check stops play a major role. But so does enforcement on any street, any time. <laughs> In this RCMP reenactment, a suspicious motorist draws an officer's full attention. And it's not always about liquor. In Canadian roadway fatalities, statistics say drug use is more prevalent in people over age 55 than alcohol. One in three impaired drivers is actually going to be a drug impaired driver. We're talking about methamphetamine, cocaine, uh, perhaps Ritalin, and of course uh, the narcotic analgesics would be another significant category we see in Alberta, and that would be uh, your oxycodone, oxycontin, um, heroin. And more, including cannabis products. So if we thought somebody, uh, we would declare that they've been using cannabis, that would include hash and hash oil and uh, uh, butter and all the different varieties that would have THC in them. Half a joint, like if someone's sharing a, uh, a half gram joint with their friend, you're going to be so impaired that you shouldn't be driving probably the rest of that day. RCMP will test suspected drug impaired drivers as well as for alcohol. Procedures include blood and urine samples. One of our officers would detect somebody roadside they think is uh, consuming drugs and driving uh, as opposed to consuming alcohol. Um, a lot of our officers have a basic skill set that lets them make that determination. Whether drugs or alcohol, the message to drivers is the same. For us, it's all about safety, whether that's uh, snowmobiling, um, operating, you know, any, um, any uh, heavy equipment, really uh, have that sober second thought uh, before you get behind the wheel of a vehicle, and also even as a passenger. Drug recognition evaluation, of course, is a, uh, it's a tool that lets us address drug-impaired driving, which uh, we recognize as a serious issue. Uh, at least in the last decade, the numbers have been going up, showing us that we have a lot of drug-impaired drivers. Drug impairment behind the wheel is one thing. Possession of drugs in the vehicle, another. Both offenses lead to fines, license suspensions, and or jail time. The people that are smoking drugs uh, should take it as seriously as people drinking, and we are out there, and we're training our officers to, uh, to locate you, and you will be prosecuted, and it will, uh, it will be painful and expensive. We're looking for the public's help in working with us to make sure that uh, everyone gets home safe uh, and gets, gets to where they need to go uh, this holiday season. For Go Edmonton, I'm Tim Dancy. <laughs> no, I understand. How are you doing tonight?